Welcome to another episode of Science Made Simple. I'm Farhan. I'm a science specialist here at the Pick Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question from the topic of digestion. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 5. The diagram below shows parts of the human digestive system and we're supposed to determine the functions of structures X, Y and Z. Let's begin by labeling those structures. If you need to pause the video, you can do that now. So we have structure Y, which is the esophagus. Structure X is the gallbladder. And finally, what is structure Z? That leaf-shaped looking organ, that's the pancreas. Now, if you look at the options, function of structure X, the gallbladder, is it to digest fats? Which organ does digestion of fats happen in? Does digestion of fat happen in the mouth, stomach, or small intestines? Fat digestion starts in the small intestines. In fact, fats do not get a head start like starch and protein. So, where does starch and protein digestion begin? Starch digestion begins in the mouth, while protein digestion begins in the stomach. So, fats is digested in the SI. I'm going to write that down. And what is fats digested to? It is digested to fatty acids and glycerol. So can you say that the function of the gallbladder is to digest fats? No, that happens in the small intestines. So option one is already out. If you look at the other options, all are related to bile. What is bile? Is it an enzyme? Bile is not an enzyme. Remember, all the enzymes that you learn in digestive systems, they all end with ASE. So what does bile do? Bile helps to emulsify fats. Let's write that down. And bile emulsifies fats from larger droplets to smaller droplets, very much like the chewing action of your teeth. What does chewing do to the food? Chewing actually helps to break up the food from larger pieces to smaller pieces. So is this an example of chemical or physical digestion? This is an example of physical digestion. So the emulsification of fats is another example of physical digestion that happens in your digestive system. Another interesting fact about bile is there are three different organs that bile is associated with. It is produced by the liver. It is stored in the gallbladder. And finally, it is released into the small intestines where bile will finally do its job. And can you remember what is bile's job? It is to emulsify fats. So based on this info that I've just shared with you, what are the options that we can eliminate? We can actually eliminate option three because gallbladder does not produce bile. That happens in the liver. Gallbladder helps to store bile. So options two and four are still correct. Next, we move on to structure Y, the esophagus. Does digestion of starch happens in the esophagus? No, digestion of starch happens in the mouth. So we can eliminate these two options. So what is the role of the esophagus? Does it release any enzymes? No, it doesn't. It just helps to move the food from the mouth to the stomach. So we are left with options 3 and options 4. Now let's move on to the column with structure Z, the pancreas. If you scan through the options, all are related to producing substances that ends with ASE. Now, what are those substances? Since their names all end with ASE, these are all enzymes. Pancreas produces many enzymes. One of them is actually the enzyme lipase. Can you still recall what does enzyme lipase digest? Let me give you a hint. The scientific name for fats is actually lipids. And the enzyme name must match the name of the food or substrate. Lipase helps to digest lipids or fats to get fatty acids and glycerol. So lipids is one of the enzymes that pancreas produces. Remember how we mentioned that starch and protein gets a head start in digestion? That means it starts earlier in the mouth and stomach respectively. If that does not happen, for instance, your mouth and stomach is removed, starch and protein can still be digested in the small intestines. The pancreas can still produce the same type of enzymes that the mouth and stomach produce. So it can produce amylase to digest starch. 
it can also produce protease to digest protein. So in fact, all the options in this column is correct. That gives our answer as option 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!